Hey guys, Celtic Fire here, back in another part in Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we made it here in Ecritique City and took on our rival. And in this part, I'm going to do a little, or a real quick jump cut and do something I completely forgot to do in the last part. So, I'll see you on the other side. All right, now that we're here, let's head inside Professor Elms. Because I completely forgot. He wanted to see Togepi once it hatched. Celtic, you're looking great. What? That Pokemon? That egg hatched? So Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Kelty. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of my appreciation. The Everstone. So, yeah, if you want to, for some reason, have a stone that the Pokemon can hold that will, yeah, like you just said, keep them from evolving, then you definitely want to show them the Togepi. So, anyway, I'll meet you back in Ecrity City. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're finally back in Ecrity City. I just want you to show my team real quick because I changed it around a little bit. So, Eevee is now level 22 and it has the move Headbutt. Pulava, I got rid of Rock Smash. Well, I loaded a previous save and uh, didn't really get rid of it. I didn't teach it this time because that elixir really wasn't worth it and I really don't want Rock Smash on Pulava. But it also knows Dig now, so that will be nice for the next gym leader. Nidorina knows Mud Slap now, I believe, so I'll also be good for the next gym leader. Egg is making sounds inside, it's going to hatch soon. And Poliwag knows Headbutt. And Sentrit's still Sentrit. So that's that. Next thing on the agenda is I'm going to want to head over here, I believe. And then if you talk to this fellow, I come. Did he come out? No? Maybe you can't talk to him, or is he down here? That's weird. What's this then? Ultra Bahal, nice. Okay, maybe we can't do it just yet. I thought you could. But the thing I was going to do after this, I know we can do now. What we're going to want to do is go into here. And we're going to face the Kimono Girls. Yes, all five of them. Now, I really can't tell you which order is which, so we're just going to go left from right. So, stop your twirling and battle me now. You have a lovely Pokemon. May I see them in battle? Yes, you may, ma'am. Hopefully, you aren't one that I could take out with another Pokemon. Flareon! Alright, I could use Poliwag or Kulava for this. Or, actually, I could have used any of my other Pokemon, but we'll be okay. I think Eevee can handle this. Kind of want to get Eevee some levels. Even though, actually, now that I think about it, I think... Nidorina is the one that's falling behind, but I, like I said, I don't want it to get past level 23, because I want it to learn it. Body Slam when it's a Nidoqueen. Queen. Oh, you are very strong. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to... Uh, uh, Mom! Hi, Kelty. How are you? I found a useful item. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I'm going to have a few... I have a feeling you're Vaporeon, just because you're wearing blue, so I'm going to keep Eevee out in front. I always dance with my Pokemon. Of course, I always train them. Or also, I guess that was also not always. Ew, well. And they're all gonna have, as you can see, oh, Espeon. Okay, yeah, I don't have anything that would have took out Espeon, so Eevee would have been nice. Perfect choice. Headbutt, but as you can probably notice so far, the Kimono Girls all have an Eevee Lucian. In the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you don't. You can't take on the Kimono Girls until much, much later into the game. I think it's after you beat Claire. And then you can't see Lugia or Headbutt, depend or Lugia or Headbutt. Lugia or Ho-Oh until after you uh, defeat them. So they're kind of necessary in the remakes to face. But they're also kind of necessary in this game, too, because of the reward, the reward you get after you beat them. And quick attack's just a better... Is a quicker tackle practically, so we'll get rid of tackle for quick attack. So, yeah, you definitely. Well, I guess you you have to come in here anyway, also in the remakes. But there's a Team Rocket member in here, so that's that. Anyway, I'm going to switch to let's do Knit Arena. We can get it at least one level. Hello, is my Barrette pretty? Oh, a Pokemon battle. Yes. That's, is that an issue, ma'am? I'd call you a sir, but you're not a sir, Zuki. Zuki has the Umbreon. 
So we got to see both the new evolutions from Generation 2, Espeon the Psychic type and Umbreon the Dark type. Espeon's definitely, definitely, definitely the better attacker out of the two, because Espeon is a, an amazing special attacker. It's just crazy. If I remember correctly, Umbreon has decent physical attack, but Dark type wasn't a physical attack until a generation or like, there wasn't any Dark physical type moves until after the physical special split in Generation Four, which is unfortunate because if you think about it, why isn't Bite Dark? And also, it's also unfortunate because there wasn't any good Dark type moves. Crunch was its best move. And I think that has a base power of eighty. There's a lot better moves on other types out there. Alright, we got Nidorina to level up, so that's fantastic. Zuki was defeated. That means all we have left are Vaporeon and Jolteon. I'm going to say you're Vaporeon, so I'm going to switch back to Eevee. Because everybody else... Well, I could use Nidorina, but I'm just not feeling Nidorina. And I think Eevee's actually doing pretty good so far by itself. Oh, you're a cute trainer. Would you like to battle? Sure, why not? Please tell me you don't have Jolteon. That'd be very embarrassing. Not embarrassing, but you know. Vaporeon, good. You matched your color. Vaporeon is a... I guess I'll go through all the evolutions off the top of my head. I can't think of this. I don't know the stats for sure off the top of my head, but I know a decent amount to give you a decent idea. So I told you about Embryon and Espeon. Oh, not all of Umbreon. Umbreon is also a very good either physical or special wall, so it's not a bad idea to use if you really need one of those, so feel free to use Umbreon if you want. You will get both of them by Espeon leveling up with high happiness, happiness during the day, Umbreon high happiness during night. And Flareon, Flareon has a good attack, but it's fire type, so I mean it's, eh, physical special split is when it got better. Jolteon is, an, is amazingly fast and has decent special attack. I used one in my Fire Red and I loved it. Vaporeon has a lot of HP and I think is a special wall, so not a bad at Pokemon use, but like it. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure off the top of my head that is correct. Hello, do you like my dancing? I'm good at Pokemon too. Fantastic. Uh, then Generation 4 also introduced Glaceon and Leafeon, but since we have, we won't be seeing them at all in this game, I'm not going to talk about them. If I ever do Platinum, Diamond, or Pearl, I couldn't remember Generation 4 games, or Black and White 2, then I will talk about them, but eh, I'm not going to worry about it for now. But so far, every time we've been able to get an Eevee in the game, I've been using Eevee, so... I guess it's just a, a thing with me that I like Eevees. Evolutions are just so, so useful. If you think about it, I mean, you got almost a bunch. You got a bunch of type coverages covered with them. Oh, come on, Kulava, you could have leveled up there. Oh, you're good at Pokemon too. Yes, I am. Thank you. Well, since I beat them all, you can now talk to this guy. Not only are the Kamino girls great dances, but they're also skilled at Pokemon. I always challenge them, but I've never even left a scratch. The way you battled, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare treat to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry. Take it. HMO3, which is Surf. So yes, we definitely wanted to do that. And you also get this or Surf in here after you beat the Rocket Grunt in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. So this is where you get Surf, <laughs> in case you're wondering. And yeah, I bought Thunder Punch too because I had a feeling that Kulava could learn it, but apparently Kulava can't. So, oh well. Polywag, learn Surf because it's a much better water gun even though you're so far a better physical attacker than special attacker, but you know what? I don't care. Get rid of Water Gun. Surprisingly, Hypnosis has done really good for me when I was doing off-screen training. So, anyway... I believe the next point of attack is to take on the gym, so once I enter this door, Magic of Power, or power of Editing will take you inside the Ecotique Gym, so let's do it! And we're here. There is a simple pattern to this gym. It looks like there's a black floor here. It's not an infinite pit. It's just you have to do a little Z or zigzag pretty much for it. So it's pretty easy. Uh, in the remakes, it looks a lot better. And you can actually fall off. I don't think you can fall off on this one. But anyway, 
Let's take on the gym trainers and fast forward, shall we? Alright, and by the power of ed editing, I have healed off screen. So, that was also embarrassing that twice in a row I could not get to the correct space on the floor, so I teleported back. But anyway, so what we're going to want to do here is in the original games, Gold, Silver, and Crystal, if you have a ground type move, it'll work perfectly because all these people have is ghost poison types, which is the ghastly family. I don't know why they didn't use any Mistrevises, because Mistrevis was introduced in this generation. But that's besides the point. In Generation 4 in the remakes, it's going to be a little tougher because they all know Levitate, so ground type moves won't be effective against them. If you can get like a Rattata or Eradicate that knows Bite, you'll be set for this gym though. That that would be my recommendation. Or if you can get S Beyond somehow really early on, do that as well and try to get it Psybeam, I think, or Confusion. 
Or Butterfree. A Butterfree, you can get a Butterfree with Confusion, too. Just some recommendations. But anyway, enough talk. Let's get this started. Good of you to come. Here in Nekati, Pokemon have been revered. It's said that a rainbow-colored Pokemon will come down to appear before a truly powerful trainer. I believe that tale, so I've secretly trained here all my life. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more. With a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the Pokemon of rainbow colors. You're going to help me reach that level. Right on, Morty. So, Morty. He is the Ecritique Gym Leader. He has four Pokemon. He's going to start off with a level 21 Ghastly with the moves Lick, Spite, Mean Look, and Curse. So, we're going to start off with our level 24 with Poliwag. Yay! The only reason I did this was because I think Poliwag should be able to take out the Ghastlies. The rest of his team I'm going to probably leave up to Kolava, since it knows Dig. And, really? Alright, so we just took out his Ghastly. I'm not going to complain. I probably agree to level 25. That is good. Trying to learn Rain Dance. Uh, I don't know. You know, I use Headbutt more than I use Double Slap. So I'll get rid of it and teach it Rain Dance for now. But I don't think I'm going to be keeping it on Polywag for much longer. And now it's going to use Haunter. Which one is he going to use? I really don't know because he has two Haunters. So I'll tell you the moves here in a second. After I see what level it is. Because, depending on the level, it depends on what moves it has. Level 21, alright, it has the moves Hypnosis, Curse, Mimic, and Nightshade. And also I would recommend before this fight started, I know I'm in the middle of it right now, but buy some Awakenings. Two of his Pokemon know Hypnosis. Right there, see? So that can get very annoying very quickly, especially if you're trying to do a Nuzlocke. That would be very annoying, I would imagine. Exactly. Hmm. So I'm going to use my... Oh, I keep forgetting the pack is not the one to the right it's below it. And I should have some... Hopefully it doesn't... No, no, it doesn't have... Uh, whatever it's called. I have a full heal, but I don't want to use that. Where are you? I have too many items. Awakening, there we go. Um, I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't have Confuse Ray, but it doesn't. I don't think any of his Pokemon do. No, none of them have anything that involves confusion, at least in Generation 2, which is what I'm looking, or the move set I'm looking at right now. In Generation 4, I'll take a look here. Generation 4... Actually, I think almost all of them know the same move, except for... The, the, or this Haunter that he's going to send... Or Gengar, wow, he's sending out Gengar. Gengar and the other Haunter have Sucker Punch. But anyway, this is level 25, Gengar with the moves. Hypnosis, Mean Look, Shadow Ball, and Dream Eater. What we're going to want to do is try not to get falling asleep. Yeah. Because what it's going to do is do Hypnosis and then Dream Eater, which will A, restore its health, and B, just, it's a powerful move. I think it has a base 100 uh, attack, so that's not good. Not good at all. Kulava, dig, do it. Or miss, yay, okay. A little worried about that, but it's okay. Morty's probably got at least one or two super potions up his sleeve, that's my guess. I don't think they're going to use hyper potions or full restores just yet. Dig again. Good, 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 good. I probably should have used Ember to try to lower its HP a little bit so I didn't trigger the super potion, but we'll be okay, I think. And... Alright, I'm going to use Ember and hopefully that will end it. Really? I thought it would heal. That's kind of surprising. Maybe it doesn't do that in Generation 2. I swear it did, though. We had that one of those earlier, didn't we? Probably should have bought more than four Awakenings, too. That's okay. That's going to be a Dream Eater. Yep. Typical Gengar. Ember, don't... Okay, good. And we're going to take out his Gengar. Sweet! If you can get a Gengar, too, by the way, because you can have a Gengar by now, too, do that as well, because Gengars are good. They're pretty darn good. Haunter, his last Pokemon. It's level 23 with the moves Spite, Mean Look, Mimic, and Nightshade. So with this one, I really couldn't tell you what she's trying to do here. The other one, I I don't really no, no. Besides this Gengar, I really don't know what he's trying to go with. Gengar makes sense. He's trying to put you to sleep and then Dream Eat you. It also has Shadow Ball, which I'm surprised didn't use. 
The Shadow Ball is a really good move. If Haunter used Dig, I will might have to laugh, because that would probably look ridiculous. But I think we're going to take it out with this Ember. Sweet! And Kulava. No level up, but that's okay. And we defeated Morty. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. We got 2300 for winning. And Poliwax finally evolving! What? We've had it for like... Eight parts now, and it's finally evolving. Into Poliwoo! Yay! Congratulations, your Poliwag evolved into a Poliwoo! We received the Fog Badge! Defeated the ghosts! By having the Fog Badge, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Surf will be able to use that move anytime. I want you to have this too. Which TM30, I believe, is Shadow Ball. Correct me if I'm wrong, Morty. Shadow Ball, yes. Shadow Ball is a really good move. Especially if you got a physical attacker. I can learn it. Because ghost types are physical in this game. Still. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Show, I guess. If you like this part, appreciate a like. Any thoughts, comments, concerns, complaints, leave them down below in the comment box. Otherwise, have a good day.